Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you all how to fix this crash slash error message that can sometimes occur when you do play it on the DirectX 12 video setting. Now these crashes guys have been frustrating for so many players in the community, including myself. Usually the crash occurs when you alt tab out of the game to open another application like Google Chrome. Though sometimes like in my case, for example, I've actually had my game just crash out of the blue randomly. And because of those crashes that have been happening to me, I literally haven't been using the DX12 setting until today as I did finally manage to get those crashes to stop occurring which was all thanks to a subscriber of mine that did share this fix with me so shout out to him guys as without him I wouldn't be able to fix it myself and share this fix with you guys also but to fix these crashes guys all you have to do is simply make an edit in your config file to do this it's really easy just head over to your desktop and press the windows key and the letter R at the same time after doing this, a run box will appear. In here, type in percentage sign, local update percentage sign, and then open Fortnite game, saved, config, then Windows client. And in the Windows client folder, you want to right click on the game user sentence config file and click properties. In the properties, you want to untick the read only box and then click apply and OK. You want to then open up the config file itself by right clicking on it and selecting edit. Once in here, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll find a setting called D3D RHI Preference, which this is the thing that you guys need to change that'll fix all these crashes. What you want to do is you want to change the value from true to false with a capital F. And after doing that, guys, you just want to head to the top left, click file and then saved. And then you want to go back into the properties of the config file and you want to make sure that that read only box is reticked. That's super important guys, as when you open the game, it can reset if you don't tick that read only box. This should then fix all the crashes that you guys might have been getting, like it did for me. If it hasn't fixed your crashes and you are still getting them, it is possible that your drivers may be out of date, say if it's your Nvidia drivers or your AMD drivers. Those do need to be all up to date. To check this, there's two ways. For those with Nvidia drivers, you want to simply open up the GeForce Experience application and click on the drivers button. This should then state at the top if you are on the latest drivers and if you aren't, it'll show you the latest driver available, which you will want to install if it is up there. For those on AMD drivers, I would show you guys how to do it, but unfortunately I am on Nvidia, but the steps should be very similar. But yeah, once you guys have got all of your drivers up to date and that config setting is set to false, you should be good to go on DirectX 12. There should be zero crashes from now on. Also, by the way guys, let me know in the comments below how DirectX 12 has been for you have you seen an increase in fps or not let me know how the setting has gone for you if you have tested it out yet for me personally the directx 12 setting has actually been pretty good i've been seeing like a 10 to 30 fps increase when i have been playing which is really nice i'm really glad as well guys that i did get this fixed as before this fix i never used directx 12 because of these annoying crashes so now that they're no longer occurring i will be personally sticking with directx 12 going forward for you guys though it might be different directx 12 might not be running as well as it is on mine and you might want to stick on DirectX 11. From what I've heard in the community, the results of DirectX 12 do seem pretty split. I've heard that some people have been getting a fair FPS boost from it and some people haven't, like some people have been getting FPS drops. The results do seem pretty mixed right now, but that is understandable considering the setting itself is still in beta. But if any of you guys have seen good results from DirectX 12 like I have, and the only thing that has stopped you from using it was these and annoying crashes then i'm hoping that this video did help you guys out if it did help you out then be sure to leave a like on the video guys subscribe to the channel if you're new and as well feel free to use code life in the fortnite item shop when you do purchase any skins by doing that guys you would be helping me out a ton as whenever you guys do purchase a skin with my code i do get a little cut from epic games that gets paid directly to me so if you guys do that that does help me out so much but yeah that's all from me guys hope you all have a great day thank you all so much for watching peace